Elena of Avalor is quickly becoming one of the most popular cartoons of the year, and it isn't too hard to see why. Despite its popularity, there are many things about this show that we don't know. Tune in to find out which up-and-coming Disney actress is responsible for Princess Isabel's voice. First time at the things? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Now let's jump right into the voices behind Elena of Avalor. Princess Elena. There's one thing we can all agree on. It's that Princess Elena has a wonderful voice. One of Elena's best traits is her ability to sing in nearly every single episode. Funny enough, actress Amy Carrero has never been too confident about her singing abilities. Regardless of this, she still manages to make Elena very proud every time she busts out her vocal cords. Carrero has been acting since 2007 and has been a part of many big productions. One of her first roles was the one of Mia in Hannah Montana. Carrero has worked on a handful of Disney Channel originals. However, she isn't limited to them. This rising star has recently begun voice acting for Princess Adora in She-Ra and The Princess of Power. So if you're an Elena of Avalor fan, keep your eyes open for this upcoming series. Louisa If there's one thing you should know about Louisa is that she looks exactly like her voice actress, Julia Vera. This character is known for her optimism and dedication. She serves as a member of the Grand Council and was chosen by Princess Elena herself. Vera is definitely the perfect individual for her role. As a matter of fact, she was chosen as Louisa's voice actress within 24 hours of her second audition. Vera, who is in her 70s, couldn't be happier to play Elena's grandmother, especially since the cartoon encourages young women to go after their dreams. Vera's character appears in a total of 25 episodes, making her the second most important character of the series. Luna Believe it or not, but there are some pretty big actors working on Elena of Avalar. Take you that's Nicole Brown as an example. This big-time celebrity has made quite the name for herself in Hollywood. However, she isn't one to turn down a voice acting opportunity. As a matter of fact, she's done voice acting for shows like Family Guy, Bojack Horseman, and many more. She is well known for playing the role of Shirley Bennett on the hit TV show series Community. In Elena of Avalor's case, Brown plays the role of Luna, who is a magical flying creature with a very sassy attitude. Are you surprised to find out that she's the actress behind Luna? If so, Wait until you find out which Oscar-winning actress is also a part of the show. Francisco Actor Emiliano Diaz is also an important character in the Elena of Avalor series. He plays the role of Francisco, who happens to be Elena's grandfather. This character has a pronounced love for music, justice, and duty. He is a member of the Grand Council and takes his job very seriously. Diaz is a Cuban actor who is well known for playing the role of Vic Palmero on the hit TV series George Lopez. He is the third most active character in the Elena of Avalor series, with a total of 24 episodes to his name. Come with us. You can protect me if anything goes wrong. Just got it. Gabe, are you a fan of TV series like Lost in Oz, Arrested Development, and Jane the Virgin? If so, you might already know a thing or two about Jorge Diaz. This American actor is the voice behind Elena of Avalor's Gabe. While he might be known for playing in a kid's show, Diaz isn't as sweet and innocent as he appears. After all, he did play the role of Hector Estrella in 2014's Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones. This versatile actor never fails to snatch up an opportunity when he sees one. Are you shocked to find out that he's the actor behind the charming and heroic character Gabe? Migs If there's one celebrity who knows everything there is to know about voice acting, it's Chris Parnell. This American actor is the man behind many of our favorite cartoon characters. Parnell plays the role of Migs in Elena of Avalor. However, he's only been showcased in about 13 episodes. Don't know who this talented man is right off the bat? Well, allow us to elaborate. Parnell also plays the role of Cyril Figgis in the hilarious TV show Archer. He's been showcased in cartoons like American Dad, Rick and Morty, and Samurai Jack. All in all, this highly successful actor is happy to be a part of the popular show Elena of Avalor. Are we talking or are we playing? Come on, Cruz. You're on my team. All right, you can't lose with Cruz. Shuriki. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. You're about to find out which Oscar-winning actress plays the role of the evil Shuriki. The highly talented and sought-after Jane Fonda is the woman behind the cruel and unjust tyrant. Fonda has appeared in a total of 10 episodes. However, her character is not someone who is easily forgotten. Most Elena of Avalor fans have no idea that a big star like Fonda is a part of the production. But hey, now they do. This big-time celebrity keeps herself busy by partaking 
Anakin in a great number of movies and TV series. If you don't know who Jane Fonda is by now, you might as well search her up and binge watch all of her movies. Cruise. When we said that some big stars were a part of Elena of Avalor production, we weren't kidding. Actor Mario Lopez recently joined the Elena of Avalor crew when he accepted the role of Cruise. While Lopez might not have an evil bone in his body, his character sure does. He is a conniving antagonist who betrays his kind and joins the dark side. Cruz only appears in about three episodes. However, we thought it's important to tell the world that he is a proud member of this Disney Channel show. Princess Isabel So remember when we said that a big-time Disney Channel star was a part of the Elena of Avalor crew? Well, we weren't lying. The talented and driven Jenna Ortega is the voice behind character Princess Isabel. Ortega has been acting since 2012 and has managed to make quite the name for herself. She got her big break when she landed the role of Harley Diaz in the popular Disney Channel show, Stuck in the Middle. Before that, though, she also appeared on the hit TV series, Jane the Virgin. The young star is definitely on the rise. After all, her IMDb page speaks for itself. The American actress has played in big-time movies like Iron Man 3 and Insidious Chapter 2. So, in other words, the sky's the limit for the inspiring Ortega. Which Elena of Avalor actor surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments. And that's it for the voices behind Elena of Avalor. Thanks for watching and see you next time.